Hey guys, it's your boy Eustus and Absolver just released the new update on what's gonna come. So basically, it's gonna come out in September 2018. I already talked about the PvE update, but now it has an official name, the Downfall Content Update. Now what Downfall means is the new game mode name. I have no idea what it means like, but it sounds cool. So basically, the game mode is explained as the following. From the fold, an Efron called Iktar contacts Absolvers. His sibling Arcel is spreading gleam down deep in the Adelia mines and gaining power over lost prospects. The barrier to the fold could be shattered, imploding the physical realities into abstractions and concepts. A path to the fold and to Arcel can be found beyond the underground temples. The truth will be there, in a place where the fabric of reality is being torn apart. Well, that sounds pretty cool. I like that we're actually getting a lot of story and a lot of lore in the new expansion. Like every single character and everything that is talked about in here, I don't think has ever been talked about before. So this is quite a new step in the Absolver story that we're actually getting. And it's coming with the game mode and this whole new update, which I'm really getting excited about. Now, the gameplay is described as battle deep in the minds of Adal as a solo warrior or an online cooperative play. Collecting gleam from infected prospects and transforming it as a reward for your deeds. The more gleam you capture, the more powerful you become in your struggle to defeat the corrupted, and even Arcel himself. Each run through the mines and temples is a unique path through a variety of challenges and situations, facing upgraded enemies and free epic boss fights. Free epic boss fights! Come on man, we already have free epic boss fights, but I'm guessing this will be way more epic because in the teaser that we have seen, the bosses freaking huge and we didn't have anything like this in absolver plus the upgraded ai just means that the bosses will probably be way harder and actually way more fun because now you can just kill them with your eyes closed but here i think you're gonna have to actually open them to beat them now the jade kondu combat style actually has a name now it's called feijin feijin combat style Inspired by Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do, the Feijin combat style blends defense and offense with percussive strikes and fluid power. The new approach is a complex style for experienced absolvers, featuring different defensive abilities that depend on both input and stances. Feijin will feature 26 attacks with bare hands and war gloves, alongside 15 sword attacks. Well, I already expected this amount of attacks to be released in the new style because that's how much attacks every single other style has. But the way they described how to play the style is actually very interesting. They said it's gonna be a complex style for experienced Absolver players. So I'm guessing if you're new to this game, I wouldn't suggest playing the style because it sounds very difficult. Because it depends on your stances and your input. And I see a lot of new players not even being able to go link. I wouldn't even suggest even trying out the style. I mean it would be still good to try out, but I wouldn't say playing it as your first style would be a good idea. Now what excited me the most about the style out of everything is the school challenges. Now let me just read what it says because, boy, in the downfall expansion we're introducing a new way for players and schools to compete with each other. School challenges. Absolvers who have reached the disciple rank in a school. Oh yeah guys, speaking of schools, please join my school on PS4, it's hashtag M8L, on PC it's hashtag LHA. Or who are mentors of their own can participate in school challenges. By using the school's decks, by using the school's decks and powers in the 1v1 combat trials, all wins representing one school count in the school challenges, with individual and collective performances of the schools bringing fresh rewards every three weeks and the end of the season. That means is that we'll actually be able to represent our school in combat trials and try getting to number one. And every three weeks, I think the best schools on the leaderboard will get the most rewards and then every other school will still get rewards based on how I interpret what it says here. I think this is actually one of the best changes that's coming just because there's no actual point of joining a school now apart from unlocking different things but now you'll actually be able to represent your school and to fight for them and to get the higher ranking and more rewards for your teammates and everyone in the school. I hope we'll see some cool things like different schools trying to compete with each other as much as possible like having people at the end of the season go on as much as possible to try getting the number one spot that'll be awesome to watch and with that i really hope that there will be some rewards for like the top three schools every season like maybe some badge next to your school or something awesome for comment trials or i have no idea but i hope there's some kind of reward for the top three they're also releasing six new sets for the game 
which is 51 total pieces of equipment. I don't think we had this amount of equipment released in one update. Now they did say something about the Xbox version and they just said that it's very different in architecture of how the Xbox works to the PSN and the Steam. So they are saying they are just still working on it and they will release news as soon as possible they get something on it. So for Xbox people, just be patient or you know buy a PC because PC masteries. Also, this game is gonna go free for one of the weekends on Steam. So I hope that brings a lot of the people and a lot of attention to this game. And the more people that join to the game, the more views I'll get on YouTube and the more subs I get and the more chance of getting a Lambo will actually happen. So please guys, make sure to subscribe so I get a Lamborghini. I'll make a video on it and everything. And I'll probably ride a few of my subscribers around to like win-win situation for me and you. So just click that subscribe button. Bye.